I've loaded in my cryo holder with grid and now I'm ready to take my low mag map so I go to navigator say open and then navigator montaging and grids set up full montage so I have it set up to be 140x bin by 4 which leaves a 10 by 10 montage my C2 aperture is at 100 percent and my spot size is spot 8 say OK goes to the center of the grid just need to move my montage box so I can use it and say start the low mag map is finished now I can say yes I want to make it a map and then I can minimize and move my montage dialog box okay now I need to close my map file and save my navigator file the next step is to zoom in on the map and find areas of interest to do that I just say add points and then click on potential areas of interest in this case isolated cytoskeletons of the parasite Giardia alright that's enough for now now I want to go to an area of the grid that is pretty clean somewhere near the center and is a place that doesn't have sample rips in the carbon or big giant chunks of ice contamination so that I can do eucentricity and set up my low dose so I just select that area by clicking on the map and then say go to marker now I want to increase my mag so that it's a reasonable magnification next I want to go into F10 mode this means that I will be going through the energy filter and onto the post GIF camera okay now I want to check my setup for my cryo imaging so we say OK take a record okay the beam looks reasonable now I can do go tasks eccentric rough this just gets us to a close eccentric height which will be good enough for setting up low dose it's important that you do the eccentricity and get it to the focus level you like before you set up low dose rough eccentricity has finished so now I need to get it about to the focus level um, that I like so I'm going to say set target and we're going to go for six microns defocus and autofocus one of the things I like to do when I before I set up is to add the stage position that I'm at and then just note something in the navigator because this way I can always go to this position and know that it's already been burned and it's just an area that I can always go to in case I need to redo alignments or anything like that so we're already in F10 mode now I need to turn on the low dose menu and the first thing I'm going to do is simply take a preview now preview is just a bin down version of the record the only difference is the binning and exposure time otherwise the beam settings and everything else are the same so I need to do continuous update of mag and beam what this allows us to do is change magnification spot size C2 aperture and if you're running in F10 mode whether or not the filter or the slit is in or out so I need to go down to the mag that I've um, tuned my GIF which is 27,500 and I don't I want to do tomography so I'm going to go up in spot size let's try spot 7 and then I'm going to increase the dose by changing my intensity which is um, here the C2 value but also because I've calibrated the dose during the gain reference acquisition it can show me the dose here so now I take another preview and I don't want to be just on the whole it's a little confusing so let me just go here right click and drag so that I'm on the carbon I'm all going to make the beam even smaller and now you'll see that when I make the beam very small it's no longer centered so what I need to do is say tasks center beam 
take a new preview and it's nice and well centered. So when we take tilt series I usually set up my zero degree image to be a one electron per angstrom squared and then the way we set up the beam intensity during the tilt series acquisition means that at 60 degrees my uh, beam will be two electrons per angstrom squared. So the idea here is that you might have holes next to each other in the carbon that you might want to take tilt series of. If you let the beam get too big, you will be burning areas of the grid that you might need later for more tilt series acquisition. And so what I like to do is simply minimize the size of the beam so that at high tilt I don't see the edge but I'm pretty close to having the edge of the beam. So if I go to spot 8, take a preview, I'll have to center the beam a little bit because the spots are often slightly off, and then spread the beam out to two electrons, which will be my dose at high tilt. Do I still see the beam? And the answer is no. And so I'm going to stay at spot 8 and dial down my intensity so that I have one electron per angstrom squared. Take a new preview. Looks good. Turn off continuous update. And you'll see that I already have the slit in to take these images, so I'm just going to refine the zero last peak, and it's a routine Cerulean uses to center the slit. It takes a series of even more bin down previews and looks for the edge of the slit. So here's what the edge of the slit looks like on our system. Okay, so now that the preview slash record has been set up, I need to do the other kinds of images that we can take during cryo. The first is called the view image. This image is usually at low mag. And I think because these holes are rather large, I'm actually going to drop the mag one more go to 3000x. So we see a little bit more. Of course now the beam is uh, very prominent, but because I have continuous update on, I can just increase the size of the beam, take a new view image. You'll also see this not well centered. Now if I were to say task center beam right now, it would uncenter the preview. So we have what's called additional beam shift. If I check this box and then say task center beam, it will center the beam only for view. It will move it just for whatever the view requires. But the preview or the record area will not be changed. So now I'm just trying to get to the four edges corner showing and then I can turn off additional beam sh shift as well as continuous update. I like my views to be less than 0 0.02 electrons per angstrom squared. And now I have quite a few holes that I can look at. Okay, so next we have to set up our tracking and focusing area. In our case, we're going to keep focus and trial identical. The first thing we need to do is define the position of area. So here I have a trial and I look when you do that, the green square represents the record area and the red square with the circle around it represents the trial area. Now if I say focus, you'll see that the focus is yellow. Okay, so what this tells us is that Serial EM is assuming that you're going to make the beam as big as this square. It's not the actual size of the beam for trial. It's letting you know that this is the assumption it's going to make. And it uses this assumption to measure the distance between the bottom edge of the trial beam and the top edge of your record area. And this distance is called maximum area separation. And in our case, this maximum area separation is 1.37 microns. Now you can click anywhere on the image and you'll see that I, even though I'm clicking way here on the left, it's moving the trial area along the tilt axis. So you can just adjust as you desire. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the bottom below my record area and I just have to remember this for what I'm imaging because I don't want to focus or track on an area that I may want to image later. 
So I'm just going to turn this off so, because sometimes stray mouse movements can accidentally move your uh, trial area and take a trial image. Wow, so the beam is quite off. The first thing I'm going to do is check continuous update of mag and beam and lower the mag so it's the same mag as my record area. Okay, so we have a couple of things here. One, the beam is too bright. We see saturation, so I'm just going to right off the bat go to a higher spot so the beam is dimmer. Okay, and now I'm going to set additional beam shift and I'm going to say tasks center beam do a trial it's much better I'm just going to do it one more time take another trial there we go and now I'm going to spread the beam out so it's just bigger than the CCD image and here we can kind of see the four corners okay so now I'm going to turn off additional beam shift and turn off continuous update of mag and beam there's my view looks fine trial since focus is the same as trial we'll leave it okay we're no longer centered additional beam shift tasks center beam trial uncheck additional beam shift preview okay everything looks good